Yard is a power puncher, as his record suggests. Like most punchers who invest heavily into their shots, the knowns are fade and regress in the second half of the fight. Yard fights out of the Philly shell and has shown some slickness and shoulder rolling to set up his rear hand. What Yard is looking to do in this fight is be a little more patient and pick his shots methodically, as fighting fire with fire won't be in his best interest. Yard must also land effective counters down the middle. Each time B to Bev engages, as he's shown to not have the best head movement. Bidabev has shown his relentlessness as a mauler, as the guys blessed him with sledgehammers in both hands. Unlike most punchers, Bidabev has shown a good jab accompanied by good sharp punches. Since Yard has shown to fade, Bidabev is looking to suffocate his opponents early on while pressing a heavy pace, forcing Yard to engage into a firefight until one submits. Early on, it was no surprise that Bidabev was going to be the aggressor. Yard had to control the space with his jabs and feint early on. When Bidabev thought he had Yard pinned against the corner, Yard showed his slickness with his check hook, then angling out. Yard couldn't miss with his check hook early on. His timing was indeed impeccable, catching Bidabev coming in with his lead hook. The reason it kept landing was because Bidabev had the tendency to keep his head off the center line when he engaged with his jab. This directly aligned his head with Yard's hook. Bidabev's lack of head movement often kept his head dead on the center line, making it easy for Yard to find his target. The battle for control between two punchers or the willingness to exchange. One must stay in the ground in order to establish dominance. Better be a cool him and hurt him as he staggered back across the ropes. You're seeing that in that replay. That's the second round. I mean, better be a he's coming forward. He's looking for this right hand over the top, but he's risking getting caught himself here. He's taking a lot of. Bidabev has some trouble finding openings on yard early on, as he wasn't properly setting up his power punches correctly. So by the third. He had to establish his foundation with the jab. Bidabev had an imposing jab, one that backed his opponents up. With Bidabev's jab established, Yard would try this man with the lead by timing and counters. So Bidabev used his jab to trigger Yard to engage to then counter with his lead hook. Even the feints got Yard to bite on the bait. Yard was so focused on defending the jab that it opened the hook for Bidabev. Bidabev's jab was so powerful that it swept Yard off his feet, taking away all leverage, making it hard for Yard to counter with anything meaningful. With Yard's lead hand low, he was exposed to the sweeping right hooks when he wasn't able to correctly time his rows. Then when Yard tried to fight for ground and push Bidabev back, Bidabev would catch a flush at the line of engagement. The warrior spirit shined brightly as both fighters displayed the heart and grit, both by giving and taking. He's landed so far tonight. And he rises well. 
What a finish to the round, it's what a fight. Yeah, unbelievable. So there's that first right hand it from makes Better BF go back. Again there from another angle, that was a super shot. There was a couple of good left. How much does victory mean to both men? How much are they willing to suffer in order to achieve ultimate glory on the world stage? Truth lies within the four corners of the ring. All men becomes exposed once they've stepped past those ropes. You will find out more about a person in one fight than you would normally through a lifetime of experiences. It's going to start off quickly. That's a DF. Finish the last round with a flourish, but Yard had great success before that, and he's landing good shots here as well. Good body shots from Anthony Yard. The contest. Good work by Yard, but better be a straight back with a left hook to respond. The gift and a curse comes with heart and succession, and finding yourself laying a punch for punch against the hammers of Thor. When playing with fire, don't be surprised when you get burnt. What was successful for Yard ultimately proved to also be his downfall. Blow for blow, you have to be able to take as much as you can give. But be the best power proved to be too overwhelming. because